Morning, John Carroll. Today is an E-Day Normal Bell quarter, quarter two ends technology department meeting in the library workroom at 8 a.m. Athletic department meeting in the library resource room, Mod 5. Winter literary tea in the brown room, Mods 8 to 10. Now over to Zach. In support of the Ravens, students may wear Baltimore Ravens jerseys, sweatshirts, or t-shirts over their regular uniform on Friday, January 14th. This is not a dress down day. Students may sport Ravens wear, but only as an addition to the regular uniform. Regular school shoes must be worn. Students who want to make changes to their second semester schedules need to see their counselors now. All changes must be finalized by Friday, January 14th. Now over to Ellis with some dodgeball. After exams, blow some steam off and have a great time with your friends. Sign up your team of six outside Ms. Simpson's office in the guidance hallway for the JC Dodgeball Tournament, January 20, 2011 at 8 p.m. There will be free food and prizes for the top teams, outfits, and spirit. Come sign up today. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes is hosting the Special Olympics Floor Hockey Tournament here at JC on January 15, 2011. We need lots of volunteers to help make a difference. You can earn service hours while supporting these very special athletes. Stop by any time to sign up outside Mr. Holland's room, through room 306. Excuse me. There are lots of time slots and jobs to do. Thanks. Now over to Zach. Old Shepherd Rescue is in need of students to coordinate a drive for supplies. Students will utilize their skills to raise awareness within the school community, coordinate the collection of supplies, and coordinate delivery to the rescue headquarters in Moncton, Maryland. At the conclusion of the drive, students will be featured on the ASR website. Students who are interested in this opportunity should contact Ms. Teal in the main office or via email at dteal at johncarroll.org. Now over to Eric on exams. Exam integrity is a major concern in an ongoing effort to promote academic honesty. It is important that students do their work on exams and earn an honest grade. To help achieve this goal, the following policies will be in place for exams this year. All cell phones must be turned off and turned into the proctor before the exam begins. Cell phone use during an exam period will be considered cheating, which will result in three demerits and suspension. Cell phone confiscation during an exam period will result in the taking of the phone and referral to the administration. Tablet PCs may not be opened or used during an exam period unless needed for the exam. Textbooks and study materials may be used by the students if their exam has been turned into the proctor. If any students are interested in playing football next year, there will be a quick mandatory meeting in the Brown Room on Monday, January 24th at 2.45. All returning players as well as new players should attend. Now over to Zach. Senior Allie Lozenak is exploring her faith journey for her senior project. A major part of her project has been to arrange a live Christian rock concert at JCS by a favorite singer, Matt Mayer. Thanks to Allie, Matt Mayer and his Christian rock band will be performing at the John Carroll School on Saturday, January 22, 2011 at 7.30 p.m. in the upper gym. Tickets are $10 and are available at mmayer at jc at gmail.com or JC Religion Teachers, Social Study Teacher Jay Collin or Senior Allie Lozenet. Payment must be done by cash or checks made out to the John Carroll School. There will be will call for tickets purchased in advance. John Carroll students only participate purchase their tickets by Friday, are eligible for a meet and greet with Mayor. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Now over to weather with Eric. The weather for this weekend will be in the mid-30s, and there will be a high of 32 for today. There's no chance of snow or rain. Now back over to the desk. Second semester schedules will be distrib distributed during advisory on Friday. All hallway lockers must be cleaned out by Friday afternoon. Nothing may be left in lockers. Any questions, please see your advisor. Now over to Eric. What's black and white and red all over? It's a hardogram being sold during lunch mods. Send a message to that special someone. Girls, this is your chance to ask a guy to the Sadie Hawkins dance being held on February 12th. Deliveries are made as they are ordered. Tickets for the dance will be on sale in the bookstore on Monday, January 31st. Hardograms are 50 cents a piece, or you can buy three for a dollar. Messages this week and the week after exams. There will be a mandatory NHS meeting on Friday in the library classroom at 7.30 a.m. Are you interested in chemistry? Chemathon will be starting soon. All, all are welcome. Come to information meeting after school on Tuesday, January 25th in room 222. There will be a brief rugby meeting on the last day of exams, Thursday, January 20th. The same meeting will be held at 7.45 and again at 12.40 a.m. in the upper gym. 
If you are interested in playing for the Patriots this spring, pick one, but be there. No experience is necessary. All are welcome. Preseason practices start on Tuesday, January 25th at 3.15 p.m. Now over to Eric. The boys have a varsity wrestling match at Mount, Matt Mount Madness at CCBC Catonsville away at 2.30. The boys and girls indoor track have a meet at PG Sports Complex away at 3.15. Girls JV basketball is away at St. Mary's at 4 o'clock and they are released from class at 1.30. Girls varsity basketball also has a game at St. Mary's away and theirs is at 5.30. Boys JV and varsity basketball have an away game at Calvert Hall. JV plays at 5.30 and varsity at 7.15. And the girls have an indoor soccer game against NDP at Du Burns. Their game is at 3.30. Well, this is the last newscast of the semester. I'm going to miss you guys.